In this video, we are going to be looking at how to change the belt on your Baja Board S2. To start with, make your life easier, turn the board upside down. The first step is to take the wheels off. Next, you want to loosen the bottom screw of the steering knuckle to basically loosen the bottom suspension arm. Now, just be careful here because with the, the screw on the bottom suspension arm, you have your screw itself and you have a spacer here. Now, sometimes the spacer can be loose. You don't want to lose that spacer. You, want, you always need to keep a spacer between the rod end and the steering knuckle. Next, we loosen the screw connecting the steering link to the knuckle. To take note, between the uh, rod end and the steering knuckle, there are two washers, spring washers. They may look like nothing, but they make a big difference to the turning, so make sure you don't lose those. Take them off and put them somewhere safe. Next, we are going to try to remove the entire shaft, drive shaft assembly away from the board. So the only thing that's holding on to the board right now is basically this zip tie that's holding the boot on. So you remove, you cut that, zip ties are cheap. You can buy them on Amazon, I'm sure, or in any local hardware store for next to nothing. So don't be afraid to cut those. And now you can pull the entire assembly out. So now we are going to access the belt, which is here. Uh, and before you can change the belt, in our case, you do have to remove the motor. So the motor is secured by three screws, M6 socket heads, one, two, and three. So once the screws are undone, you take this out and you can, can place the motor like so. Just have it out of the way. All right, so now you can access the belt. Uh, you can see how you can get this side out, but you've got the spring in the way, so you're gonna have to squeeze the belt through that, through that gap right there. So the trick, I find the easiest way, first of all, take the belt up here. Then I slide it off. I squeeze a bit of it through the gap. And it's off. So it's a bit trickier to put the belt back in, but fundamentally same procedure. Shove it in. Everything on. Just take care that you don't knock out any of these tensioner bearings, which I have. So as long as you're on the table, you can put them back on. It should be fine. So this is basically back in place and we have to put the motor back on. In reinstalling the motor, just so you can see, this one has a hole and that one has a, a slot, a longer, and that one has a slot as well. Basically this side is, uh, this particular corner of the motor is held stationary and you can pivot it to tension the belt through those two slots. So you wanna have this one uh, screw it in first. You might have to rotate the motor a few times just to make sure the teeth all sit nice and neat. So putting the motor back on is gonna be a bit tricky because once you catch this, you wanna make sure the belt, at least in some, you might have to pull to tighten the belt so that the hole can actually match. And then you put this back in first. Number one, like any assembly, you don't tighten the thing until last minute. So you leave that a bit loose so you can still pivot and you put in number two. You always have to make sure that you tension or you line up the screw so that it's going in straight. You don't want it to go in sideways and stuff up the whole thing. That's number two. And now we have number three. So the belt is back on, the motors are back on, and you're pretty much done with the belt assembly. You just have to reassemble the rest of the, uh, the screws. Shove this 
into the out drive. The great thing is the out drive. I'll recommend putting the steering link back on as a number one. Always remember a bit of Loctite on the tip. Two washers, spring washers, M6 spring washers between the rod end and the knuckle. And remember which hole you went in before you took it off. Or if you don't remember, just look at the, look at the other side. So in this case, we're on this hole. Bit of Loctite there. If you've taken off the uh, tapered washer, just remember to put it back on. That's it. And the last bit is to resecure the, the new boot. There we go. Now that this is all reassembled, Pentagon recess back onto the Pentagon here. Wheel back on. Got your wheel nut. A dab of Loctite and simply there you have it. I hope that was uh, clear enough. If you've got any more questions, our contact details will be below in the description.